Hi, I'm Jenny Reese. And I'm Brandi Vandewall. And we're both UNL Extension educators with the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Extension. Both Jenny and myself work with farmers and youth and are very interested in helping teach them very hands-on activities as part of the Crop Science Investigation, or CSI, series. So what we're going to do today is show you an activity that you can do with youth out in the field. And this is something where if you're a farmer, you can use the same activity to estimate what your corn yields are. But we're going to be estimating corn yields and showing how it's an interactive activity that you can do with youth out in the field. So we'll have Brandy start explaining what you do first. So first of all, when you're going to estimate yield, you need to know the row spacing of your field. So we have just a yardstick over here, and from placing it from row to row, we know that we have 30 inch row spaces. So knowing your row spacing is important because we want to determine what one one thousandth of an acre is. Why one one thousandth of an acre is important is because we don't want to count all of the plants an entire acre. An, ent an entire acre would be like the size of a football field. So when we know that we have a 30 inch row spacing, what we can do is know that that correlates to 17 feet, five inches, and that would give us one one thousandth of an acre. And so what we do is then we take a tape measure into the field and we measure off 17 feet, five inches. Now if the producer's in 36 inch rows, they would measure off 14 feet, six inches. Then what you do is you can have the, count the number of plants with ears on the stock in that length of 17 feet, five inches and pull off every fifth ear that occurred within that area. So we have Brandy now and she's pulled these ears and she's going to teach us how to determine how many kernels are on each ear. So I've got the ears of corn and what you need to do next is count the amount of rows that go across the ear as well as the rows that go lengthwise. A quick easy tip is to take your pen and kind of poke a kernel down so you can keep track of where you left off at. You don't need to count the end of the ear because they'll go all the way around. So figure out the first row that goes all the way around count across and come up with those amount of kernels and then count lengthwise. So we've already done this on some of the ears over here and some the calculations that we have just using a simple multiplication are to take 18 this was how many kernels around, went across. around the ear then we need to figure out lengthwise how many kernels there are and we simply take those and multiply them together that gives us a number over here. After we've done that with each ear, we total them all up and divide them by the number of ears that you counted to give you the, the total number of kernels. For this example, we had an average of 702 for our no another number of kernels. So that gives us our total number of kernels within that 17 feet 5 inches, or basically that 1 1,000th of an acre. But we want to determine Yield so we know that. that it takes about 90,000 kernels to fill a 56-pound 50, bushel basket. And so a standard constant that's used is the number 90. If we divide this number by the number 90, we get that this field ends up yielding around 250 bushels an acre. Now that constant can change depending on if you have if you have a drier year such as this past year that we've had here, then that constant will go up. And you can use this table from Purdue University in order to figure out which constant that you should use. This was a real quick and fun activity that the kids are love to get engaged with. It doesn't involve a whole lot of uh, materials to use and farmers can use it as well. So with that, we hope that you've learned how to calculate the corn yield. And if you'd like more information, please go to our UNL Extension website at cropwatch.unl.edu where you can know how, know now.